Greetings fellow YouTubers, and welcome to the second game in my Let's Play series of Fatal Frame. Uh, it's been a while since uh, we finished the first game, and uh, now we're ready to begin Fatal Frame 2, also known as Crimson Butterfly. I actually think this is even better than uh, the first game, and it's also a lot more manageable. It's not nearly as difficult. So, uh, and I like the characters in the setting even more, so actually promises to be a good run through. Without further ado, let's get to it. Also haven't played uh, Fatal Frame 2 in a few years also, so... I really don't think I'm gonna do any better at this one than the first, really. Although I did say earlier it was a little bit more manageable. And what I mean by that is, uh, it seems like uh, the protagonist has a lot more health, and it's, uh, you know, weapons and, uh, well, ammunition and health doesn't seem to be nearly as scarce in uh, the second game as, there, as it is in the first. So go to options right quick and make sure there's nothing I want to change. Yeah, brightness. Yeah, I think we can go for a little bit darker. And whoops, give me a second. I forgot to turn off the theme music that I like to start out my Let's Plays with. There we go. Hello. Capture icon. Thank you. Hmm. Tell me I don't have a memory card inserted. Give me one second. <laughs> well, this is a PS2 memory card I'm using, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do normal. I think easy might be just a little bit too easy. Didn't we always promise each other? That we would always be together. Oh, for a minute there I thought I was having trouble with the uh, video. I just saw a flash of something. Maya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mayu. Uh. I used to play here all the time. Yeah. Oh, right. Mio and Mayu, that's their names. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. After all, it's your fault, sister. Mia? Yes? Never mind. You know, I'll never understand. Do the Japanese mean for these exchanges between siblings to be perverted, or... Is it actually part of their culture that families stick that close together? Mayu, about that time back then. Mayu? Oh, where'd she go? She's just wandering off. Mayu! <laughs> Come to think it is uh, Mayu's fault that we get stuck in the situation we do as Mio. I don't know if it was really Bayou's fault, she might have gotten spirited no, away, I don't stop. know. Wait! Mayu! <laughs> nice outfit. Mayu. 
little too racy for a 12 year old, methinks. Ah, yes, the haunted village. Okay, so we're using the analog stick again for our walking controls. How to run. Uh, not sure. Oh, square. Dirt. Aren't you girls playing just a little too far out into the forest? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ooh, pretty. Actually, I think the question is, what are we doing here? Mayu? It's just a known fact. It can't be good. Finding a village out in the middle of the woods in the dark of night. A lost village. Called the Lost Village? like the way the letters of Fatal Frame are displayed. Kind of gives it that spooky I feel. This place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? You know, we can always turn around and leave. At least I think so. I don't know, let's actually try it. Before, but... Maybe the game can end Something right here. now. Oh, sorry, Mayu. Uh, wait, I think that's further in. Can't help but think that's something right there for me to pick up. Guess not, though. Man, maybe I shouldn't have turned the brightness this low. Huh. Looks like no dice. Pretty much made a full circle around this clearing and... Nothing. Suddenly the way I came in has just vanished, I guess. Black bag. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. Oh, I'm looking at a pretty small screen. This is gonna be a little bit difficult to... Uh, news clipping. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching. All God's Dam? Like all gods is in all, like plural, all the gods that this village worships? Uh, whatever. Matsumi Makimura, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. Another news clipping. The search for Masumi Makimura, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. Photo of a couple. Who's this, I wonder? 
Okay, that's it. I'm gonna have to see if I can turn the brightness up. Uh, options? Guess not. Guess I have to live with this. Now remember, I believe this was the first house we just sort of walk into. It's kind of... I think the game consisted primarily of uh, exploring four different major houses in the village. I wonder if anyone's here. Haha, mm. <laughs> that's not your sister! You know, it's a wonder they don't knock or anything and call for help. I mean, for all they know, there could be people living here. <laughs> okay, yeah, you could tell by the sound of my voice I got a little bit startled at that. Get used to it. Seriously, knock on the door and ask if somebody's there and can help you get your way back find your way back. I mean... Isn't anybody here? Should we go inside? Mayu doesn't want Mayu? to. Mayu! What's wrong? Ah, uh, that unexplained psychic telepathic abilities again. All this radio staticky sound and stuff is kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'd look at her funny too if that happened to me after just touching her hand. I don't know. Let's do the smart thing and explore, huh? Hey guys, guess what? I'm drinking out of a mug right now that has a picture of NES Mega Man jumping. And the words above him say, Rock on! Get it? Ha yeah. <laughs> Don't go too far. Oh god, I forgot. Mayu keeps making me... Like, it, like instinctively, I stop and wait for her to catch up, even though I really don't think it does anything, no matter how far you come away from her. Like, but she keeps saying stuff like, don't leave me, wait up. It, it, it just like, instinctively I stop and wait for her to catch up and it just wastes time because I really don't think there's any consequences whatsoever for going too far ahead of her. The only time she gets lost from you is when the game, you know, when it's supposed to happen in the game, no matter what. Hi. Hey, um, did anybody else see that? It's a bit cold. That tends to happen when there are ghosts around. A notebook. I think, uh, drastically out of order, too. Sorry, the third one in the series. Ah, uh, Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be ready. Miss you. I wonder if anyone's really 
here? It's probably the woman in our visions just now who died, obviously in this house somewhere. Oh god, turning the brightness down was really a bad idea. What is this thing called right here? An old coal brazier. Or brazier? Go into the hallway or up the stairs? Let's just try up the stairs for kicks. Mia. What? Ugh. What happened? There was someone over here. Didn't I just come out of? No, it was at the farther end of the hall. In fact, I think this is the room where I find the camera obscura hanging about. Something's just sitting on a table waiting to be picked up and used. Against the hordes of the dead. Miyu runs just as slow as Miku does. Ah, flashlight, just what I needed. Oh, pointers on using the camera obscura. Actually, it says it was made by a uh, Dr. Aso? Aso? How did he make that again? <laughs> it's like he actually specifically made it for combat against the ghosts of the village or something, I don't know. I find that hard to believe. Because it's actually acting as though it, it, it's like a, like it's assuming you're going to be you know engaged in combat with them when you use it instead of just photographing them, you know, casually. If I use it carelessly, they'll gain the upper hand on me. Really. Touch it, you'll have another vision. The camera obscura takes pictures of impossible things. With a thousand hands. What else? Kyrie. This thing's too dangerous. Well, at least they made the camera sturdy. It doesn't break so easily, even when clattering to the ground from that high up. The camera obscura. Mio. What's that?
noise you make, the likely they are to find you. Uh, camera Obscure, a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where the spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen. Oh, okay, good. We have a blue glowing bar thingy to help us know which direction to look into for a ghost. Just like last time. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the circle button. Center it in the viewfinder screen. Press the shutter button. Oh god, that was one thing about the uh, viewfinder mode uh, this time around. I don't know. I didn't... It was set up differently somehow. I think the capture circle was actually a little bit smaller in, in this game than the previous one. And... I don't know, it, it wasn't as easy to identify how like how well you were building up spiritual power, you know, as you focus on the ghost. That was one thing I didn't like as much about uh, Fatal Frame 2 as uh, Fatal Frame 1. But, you know, whatever. There was a lot more you could do with the camera this time around, a lot more stuff to upgrade. Well, it's not glowing right now, and I'm looking right at the door where we heard the footsteps. Mortuary tables and incense burners. Mortuary tables? Like, so the family that lived in this house, whenever somebody in their family dies, they just store them in this room? What? I think there's gonna be like a face in the door. Something is here. Oh, it's a non aggressive ghost right now. And just taking one picture made her go away. It's gone. Get out of here. <laughs> it's the best idea we've had all night. Yes, just the power of the camera obscura. Let's go check the front door. I'm pretty sure that's not all we do in this house, but... Maybe this will give us a hint as to what to do next. Yep. Door's held shut. also in Fatal Frame 2, one thing they corrected was it doesn't... Well, I guess I'll know next time for sure. Uh, I should have looked at uh, the film ammunition I have and see if it gets used up. Uh, Woman's Notebook 1. Okay, missed that before. I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony and the village was wiped off the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village interest, entrance. <laughs> Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. Oh, so I really couldn't go back for whatever reason. The village eternally relives that night of death. 
The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Probably because she initiated it. I'm not sure if uh, your film ammunition is taking up. Yep, it sure is. I just saw the number decrease. I thought they changed that on this game, that taking pictures of non-aggressive ghosts would not use up your film. I guess it only makes sense that it does. I mean, you are taking a picture. Oh, I think I remember. Uh, one thing that was different that kind of helps you out is if you get stuck, you have like an infinite amount of really uh, low, uh, really low, like really low powered ammunition. Like uh, it's called film type seven or something, I think, or film type zero. I'm not sure. But you know, you'll never have to run. A, you'll you'll never have to worry about being completely defenseless and you know having to run from ghosts or anything. You still have a chance with a really low powered film. Okay, so. Guess I should go through that door where, uh. Or I should have been paying attention to the picture I took in the first place, because usually it tells you. It shows you a picture of, uh, the location you're supposed to be at next. So. Let's take one more picture. <sighs> ah, the coal brazier. <laughs> yeah, if somebody wouldn't mind in comments, tell me if I was uh, pronouncing that correctly. My you, I'm not taking your picture. What are you doing getting in the shot? You know, I feel really bad having to watch her just, you know, drag her bad leg. And I think that gets explained later in a flashback, you know, how that happened. There's ah. someone here. Right here. Looks like an injured man. I always wonder why the spirits guarding the doors, you know, have to look like just a million faces screaming at you. Oh. Hello. Did you hear that? The camera just clicked when I pressed X the first time, and then it worked the second time. I wonder what happened there. I guess to prevent you from taking, like, just, you know, several pictures on end and, you know, if they kept counting against a ghost, well, all you have to do is repetitive, you know, the only battle strategy would be to focus on them and repetitively press X and they would just keep getting pushed back, I guess. Well, anyway, now we can go through that door. Frames kind of skipped there for a second. It's open now. Oh yeah, I remember this room. For some reason there's like a piece of silk cloth or something draped across the... So you have to go around it like this. Okay. And what is that, seriously? Like, is that a body underneath her? A uh, woman's notebook for someone, anyone. Whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me, Mayako Sudo. Was that the man or the woman in the in the picture of the couple? It's got to be one of them. I wouldn't know whether Mayako's a you know male name or a female name. 
It's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the color of the flowers. Well, that sucks. And that doesn't open. Huh. This has an atrium, and I guess I'm looking into the room with the brazier. Okay, I had no idea that was there. That was just luck. I didn't even see anything glowing. Okay, so... I guess I was just supposed to find a... Seriously, what is under there? Aha! Mm. Ginger key. I believe that opens the door upstairs. Whoop. She was going up the stairs, I'm sure of it. I don't remember if there was like a quick turnaround button when you're in viewfinder mode. Uh -huh. Fast one. It's too bad because I'm getting points off of that. You know, for upgrading the camera. In fact, I think this is where... Hi, Mayu. There you go. I'm actually able to see the room better when I'm in, when I'm in viewfinder mode. It doesn't seem as dark. Woman's Notebook 6. So far, I'm missing two and five. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Okay, so this belongs to the woman. So the woman must be Miyako and the man must be Masumi. I'm sure they both met with a tragic end. It's no doubt Miyako I keep seeing her in, in this house. Woman's Notebook 7. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono with sane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, Don't kill me. Eww. A woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Thanks, Mayu. Did that count? I don't remember seeing the points uh, show up at the top of the screen. Woman's Notebook 8. Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. Um. Wow. I don't know what to think about that last sentence, you know, especially the pause before it. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be... Haunted? Yes. Maya? Why? 
Yako. So, how long have you been stuck here? Uh, some battle notes here. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge glows red, okay, this time it's red, not yellow, that instant is a shutter chance. If you shoot during this moment, you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit and propel it back further. Blast back. Using the blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. I actually think in this case it also does damage, unlike the first game. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again. Okay. While loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown at the top right of the screen. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. I forgot, can they hurt me? Mayu? Actually, to my knowledge, they can. I mean, you'll, it'll look like Mayu's taking damage, but for some reason she can't get hurt as easily. Uh, my controller's freaking out. It's vibrating. And I can't unpause. Hello. And we'll just try unplugging and replugging. Oh. <laughs> All I did was adjust the connection and... Okay. Here we go. Hello. Okay, let's just try pulling it out and back in. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, does this ghost actually attack me? Oh, I forgot. Teleporting ghosts. In this game, too. Charge gauge just isn't as noticeable in this game as it is the last one. Gosh, she's still alive. No, that was it. But yeah, to my knowledge, I mean, as many times as I've played this game, well, not that many, it's been a few. I mean, Mayu, no matter how much damage she took, has never, you know, has never succumbed, so I don't think there's any danger of her, you know, taking damage. Unfortunately, this means uh, Mayu is also gone now. Ah, a spirit crystal. I think spirit orbs work differently this time. I don't think they determine... Uh, yeah, they don't determine like how often you can use a special attack. It's... Uh... Raise maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power up lenses. Use the spirit orb from the function upgrades to increase the maximum level of a camera function or power up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic performances or power up lenses, you can raise the level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits.
Well, there's a spirit stone radio right there. I can listen to what the crystals tell me right now. Yeah, that doesn't make me sound like a maniac. Listen to the crystals. 50 use of crystals in its circuits, this improved version of a crystal radio is able to tune in to voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, the spirit stone. According to Dr. Osso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. Uh, I guess like Mio and Mayu. Okay, I'm sure there's some items to pick up in this room before we leave. Folklorist 1 The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all God's folklore is the Gate to Hell legend that has been passed down for years. It is an archetypical tale. Archetypal. Archetypal. I'll be honest, I don't know what that means. <sighs> tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead. Also called Hades, the underworld, or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual for regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. The strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. This village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. Well, that was enlightening. It's where there'd be a few items about. I guess we need to bother taking a look at the map, for one. I'm not sure, I just lost myself on the map somehow. There's more to the house than I thought initially. Ah, there we go. X goes back to normal view. Oh, so I'm just in a room that's like separated into four sections. I guess everybody sleeps here. Suddenly, her leg isn't hurting anymore. And Mayu's being, you know, I don't know, manipulated by evil forces. I don't, whatever. They had to keep chasing her down. And she keeps getting led away. Oh, and I forgot this, uh, there we switch to Mayu like this. This allows Miyu, Mio, excuse me, to see where. To see where Mayu is gone next, so that's you know that's how she knows where to go next to find Mayu. And I lost track of the butterflies. At least I think I did. Yeah, there they are. Mayu. 
hey, it could be worse. You could be wandering this village with no purpose or direction. But you know where to go next. Camera equipment. Acquired the slow power-up lens. Effect. Slows down the movement of a spirit. Spirit power acquired one. Upgrade. Extends duration. Temporary slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed. To use, press the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit power points. Default settings. Uh, while this effect is active, the spirit will be slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration. I also found the measure equipped function. Not sure what that does. Oh, shows spirit HP. Cool. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit in the capture circle in the viewfinder's upper left corner. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I guess I actually have to equip it though. Oh, it was automatically equipped. Well, that's useful. I also have 4,627 spirit points right now. Ah, another aggressive ghost. Just thought he'd say hello to me on the way out, huh? Okay, I can't back up any, so I need to... Oh, there's two of them. Good thing they're not very fast. Get back, sir. Okay, I'm in a corner here. As you can see, uh, generally in Fatal Frame 1, any attack from even the ghost at the beginning of, that you encounter towards the beginning of the game would take down at least a third of your HP. But here, that was only like, what, a sixth? Of course, you also fight a lot more ghosts in this uh, game than... They also take a lot more damage. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is just the beginning of the game and both these guys are still here. Or did I defeat one? I thought I saw two remaining in the room. three down. You know, I haven't even found a save point yet. I think it would be a good idea. Ugh. Okay, I'm having to squint hard at the screen for this, guys. Like, my... You know, the video capture I'm doing right now, that doesn't allow... It's not exactly taking up the whole monitor here. Ugh. Okay, Type 14 film. I guess over here is where I can upgrade. Yep. Add spirit orbs. Uh, size of the capture circle. The maximum amount of spirit power that can be charged. Sensitivity. Exorcismal power and shot range. Uh, I think I'll go for accumulation right now. And we'll, uh...
Okay, I already got slow equipped. Now how do I, oh, function power up. Okay, so add spirit orbs, that's where you add orbs to what you want to power up, and then in function power up, that's uh, where you actually dispense your points to do the actual upgrading. Cool. Yeah, there's a little bit more to uh, how you can work with the camera in this game than there was in the previous. That I did like better. I think uh, there should be a save point out here in the... <clears throat> excuse me. Should be a save point out here in the foyer of the house. Mm. My use charm. Use radio on the menu to listen to the words held within the stone. Actually, no, I take that back. Uh, save points right there. I can see it through the... Through the, the uh, lattice. Is that the word I'm looking for? Let's see, we never even actually went inside that room. There's a kimono just hanging in front of me. Ah, more herbal medicine, and oh! Ah, the creaking floor ghost. I remember this one now. Why'd I let go of the camera? And she just sorta of just slowly stalks towards you like uh, she was from the ring. Up. Seems like I can't accumulate power on her. All I can get is a uh, fatal frame moments. Ugh. Keep missing. Not good. Don't want to waste the ammunition. Whoops. <laughs> Went too soon. Ugh. Let go of me, creepy long-haired woman. Oh, I'm wasting so much ammo on her. It's like she's barely visible, so I can't, you know, accumulate spirit power on her. All I can get is these, you know, fatal frame moments that only happen for an instant. Ugh! There we go. Where'd she go? Oh, I pushed her way back. Uh, and I had to defeat her too before I could use the save point. When a ghost is in the room, the save point goes, you know, like goes out. Can't use it. Uh, woman's Notebook 2. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say this village vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. Who says that? You mean there were actually people that got, you know, got lost in this village and managed to escape alive before me? Another spirit orb, all right. Uh, before we use the save point and call it a video, uh, we can use the spirit radio right now and listen to some of the um, some of the voices inside the stones we picked up. Again, I can't say that without <laughs> feeling kind of like a lunatic. Uh, where are we? Radio. So here's Moonstone.
Yeah, remember, most of these are actually kind of boring to listen to. I mean, I don't think any of them actually even help you with, like, where you're supposed to go next in the game or anything like that. Argonite. I use charm. So this is my use speaking. Catch a word of that. <laughs> oh, well, okay, that's uh, first house down. I don't even remember what the name of this house is. What is it? The Osaka house. Uh, next, we'll be following uh, Mayu to the Kurosawa house, I believe. It's way on the other end of the village, and it's a little bit bigger. There's a lot more to do there. And there's, you know, also various errands to run back and forth on the outside of the village between houses you go to. But uh, first one down, and. I guess this is the end of part one, and I will see you guys next time. Later.